Researchers in the US have begun building a new particle detector that they hope will help find an answer to a very big question. Just why does the universe exist? Have you ever wondered why you exist? Why there's anything here at all? It's the biggest question ever. Why is there a universe instead of just nothing? For decades, our best theories, like the Big Bang, basically said the universe shouldn't exist. It predicted that matter and its evil twin antimatter should have completely destroyed each other, leaving nothing behind but light. And yet, here we are. But guess what? A crazy discovery at the world's biggest science experiment has given us the first real clue why we won the ultimate war for existence. The LHC is a really big particle accelerator. Basically, it's a bunch of magnets strung together that accelerate subatomic particles to near light speed so we can literally smash them together and see what they break up into so that we understand what the fundamental building blocks of those particles are. This isn't just some theory. This is a breakthrough that is literally changing everything. To get this, we have to rewind to the literal beginning of time, the Big Bang. Imagine the entire universe as a super hot, super dense soup of pure energy. In the very first moments, scientists believed that matter and antimatter were created in perfectly equal amounts. This is the most important part, because when matter and antimatter touch, they don't just high-five, they annihilate each other in a blast of pure energy. Antimatter is the mirror image of ordinary matter. However, matter has one charge, and antimatter has the opposite charge. If there was an anti-me made out of anti-matter, that person in principle could look exactly like me. Same personality quirks, same everything, except of course when I decide to shake his hand, at that point we both would blow ourselves to smithereens in a gigantic nuclear explosion. So if that's true, after the Big Bang, the universe should have been completely empty, just a giant void of radiation. But look around. We have galaxies, stars, planets, and us. This massive contradiction has confused physicists for decades, and it's called the matter-antimatter asymmetry problem. It's the ultimate mystery. Where did all the antimatter go? If we can figure out why matter survived, we might finally understand why our universe even exists. It's like a cosmic detective story, where the biggest clue is everything. The Big Bang gave us a great story for the universe's birth, but right after, we're left with a huge mystery. Picture a battlefield where particles of matter and antimatter were popping into existence, smashing into each other, and disappearing in a non-stop demolition derby. Yet somehow, out of all of this chaos, a tiny fraction of matter survived, about one particle for every billion that were destroyed. That tiny little leftover created every single star, galaxy, planet, and person you see today. It's insane. We are literally made of the universe's leftovers. Scientists figured there had to be some kind of cheat code, a tiny imbalance that helped matter win from the very beginning. Scientists figured there had to be some kind of cheat code, a tiny imbalance that helped matter win from the very beginning. But for years, they had no experimental proof. It was like trying to solve a billion-piece puzzle with almost all the pieces missing. We knew the final picture had to be us, but we had no idea how it happened. This matter-antimatter asymmetry problem has been one of the biggest challenges in all of physics. Now, fast forward to today, where the world's smartest people built one of the most insane machines ever to solve this mystery, the Large Hadron Collider or LHC, buried deep under the ground at CERN. This machine is gigantic. It smashes protons together at almost the speed of light to recreate the first seconds after the Big Bang. It's in these tiny, insane collisions that scientists can study the building blocks of everything. The LHC is famous for helping discover the Higgs boson, the particle that gives things mass. But that's just the start. In a recent experiment, the Large Hadron Collider beauty team saw something called charge parity symmetry breaking in baryon decays. I know that's a mouthful, but it means, for the first time ever, we've seen matter and antimatter act differently. This isn't just some tiny difference. It's a new kind of asymmetry that could finally explain why our universe is filled with matter and not just an empty void. This is a huge step in figuring out how anything was ever created. Let's talk about how insane the LHC is. This thing is a 17-mile ring 
buried hundreds of feet underground, built by thousands of scientists from around the world. It has a bunch of giant experiments, each trying to solve a different crazy physics question. While some experiments were hunting for the Higgs boson, the Large Hadron Collider Beauty experiment was on a different mission, to figure out why matter particles, like protons and neutrons, won the cosmic war. What the Large Hadron Collider Beauty team found is so important because they proved that when some particles decay, there's a real, measurable difference between matter and antimatter. This completely breaks CP symmetry, which is a rule in physics that says matter and its antimatter twin should be perfect mirror images. By finding a crack in this mirror, we finally have proof of how the universe could have rigged the game for matter in the very beginning. This isn't a theory anymore. They watched it happen. Specifically, they saw the lambda B0 baryon decay in a way that proved CP violation with incredible certainty. So what does this actually mean for us? This discovery is monumental because it's the first real proof that a tiny imbalance between matter and antimatter was actually real. In simple terms, right after the Big Bang, there were slightly more ways for matter to be created and survive than there were for antimatter. This tiny cosmic cheat code could be the only reason we live in a universe packed with stars and life instead of a totally empty void. To put it another way, imagine a game with two teams, matter and antimatter. But matter had a tiny secret advantage, like getting one extra roll of the dice out of a billion. Over trillions and trillions of rounds, that tiny advantage guarantees a win. In the crazy first moments of the universe, this tiny asymmetry let matter win, leading to everything we see today. It's not that antimatter vanished, it's that matter won the cosmic lottery by the smallest margin imaginable, and we're living in the jackpot. The standard model of physics actually predicted some of this, but not nearly enough to explain all the matter we see, which means there might be even crazier physics we haven't discovered yet. So, where do we go from here? The discovery of CP violation in baryons is changing our understanding of baryogenesis, the insane process that explains how our universe went from a hot soup of nothing to the cosmos we have today. It proves the universe isn't just random. It's run by subtle, powerful rules we are just now starting to figure out. This isn't just filling a hole in a textbook. It's challenging the biggest theory in physics, the standard model. The standard model has been amazing, but it has one huge flaw. It can't explain why there's so much more matter than antimatter. The LHCB results basically scream that we need new physics, something beyond the standard model. Scientists at Brown University recently discovered a new class of quantum particles called fractional excitons. These aren't normal particles. They're brand new things made by mashing together other particles in weird ways. They behave unlike anything we've ever seen before. Imagine thinking you've discovered every animal on Earth and then finding a whole new kingdom. On top of that, another study mathematically proved the existence of paraparticles. For decades, we thought there were only two types of particles, Paraparticles could be a third, completely new category. These discoveries aren't just for fun. They could lead to insane breakthroughs in quantum computing. We're not just learning about the universe, we're finding new ways to control it. Standing here today, one thing is clear. We are just getting started. These discoveries don't just answer the question of why we exist. They open up a thousand new questions and a whole new world of research for scientists to explore. These results are already paving the way for next-generation particle colliders. <laughs> if you think the LHC is big, wait until you see what's next. The LHC is getting a massive upgrade to the high-luminosity LHC, which will give us 10 times more data to hunt for things like dark matter. And after that, CERN is planning the Future Circular Collider, a proposed 56-mile ring that will be seven times more powerful than the LHC. I can't even imagine what we're going to find with that. 
The LHC pushed the limits of what we thought was possible, but the show is just beginning. So we just got the biggest clue ever to why the universe exists. We found a glitch in the cosmic rulebook that let matter win the ultimate battle royale. And while we've made these insane discoveries of new particles like fractional excitons and paraparticles, we have to stay hungry for more. The universe is the ultimate mystery box, and every time we open it, we just find more mysteries inside. In the future, scientists will keep pushing, exploring the biggest things in the cosmos and the smallest particles of matter, hunting for answers. So no, we're not done. This is an amazing new beginning. What's the next huge discovery? What other secrets are waiting for us to find? The universe is giant, mysterious, and awesome, and our mission to understand it never stops. If your mind is as blown as mine, destroy that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments what you think the next big secret of the universe is. And of course, if you want to see more of the most incredible science videos, subscribe right now. What do you think is the next big question we need to answer? Tell me below.